Ah, uh, YouTubers, I'm doing a garden uh, update, so another garden tour video. It's uh, middle of September now, so <clears throat> gardens have changed a little bit. <clears throat> I want you to see it. It's more mature now. Some things have already died off. Some are in the process of dying. And uh, I'm going to do a series of videos to show individual little, uh, you know, plants, tomatoes, the peppers, lettuce, things like that. So you can uh, get an idea when they're more mature, what's going on. As you can see, when uh, when we got the uh, garden together, we. Uh, we made these these little hills, and then we planted our, our crops in, in the, on the little hills. There's a certain type of gardening. That's what that's called. And uh, <coughs> so I've done some planting here and there and everywhere, and I've got different crops at different places here. But I wanted you to see it uh, now that it's more mature. And you can see the fencing that we put up. It seemed like every other row had fencing on it. I'm not sure this is the best arrangement. But it seems to work out fairly good for us right now. I've got them far enough apart that there's sun that actually gets into the little rows that don't have any fencing on them. So this is the uh, main part of the garden here. I'm going to go do our little secondary garden. Corn we've already started to eat. Got some videos on that. And I'm cutting back on my watering. I don't think I need to water too much anymore. Not on that. So I've got some melons growing out here. And then I've got that's a cauliflower and I've got a few more cauliflowers and I had gopher back here trying to eat me out of house and home I've been putting some uh, gopher bombs in here to try and eliminate him I don't know if it worked or not here's some turnips some of these turnips get kind of big And uh, I've got some cauliflower out here. I like the cauliflower for the cauliflower and also for the leaves for juicing. I have different greens here. They were just babies before. I'm really excited about this. This is my celery that I got growing. I didn't know if I'd be able to grow it. That's pretty hard to grow. At least it is for me. And I got yellow zucchini squash here. And I got some yellows here. Already picked some and there's some babies coming on. This is a black zucchini. There's the biggest one right now. And over here, I just had these mounds left over of dirt. So I went and put some uh, zucchini on them. Now here, here I've got turnips. And then I've got beets. And then I've got, I planted some carrots, but I put some of the beets in with the carrots. Why? I don't know. Maybe because I'm insane. But I actually wanted to see if uh, putting the beets within the carrots would cause a problem. And I won't know until later on when I go to harvest. Now these carrots are doing pretty good. You can see the tops are real nice and lush. There was a garden snake in here yesterday. When I was watering, I kind of disturbed them a little bit. So here's our corn and uh, I've got lots of it but I planted too shallow and that's not good so the roots didn't get stabilized as much and I have plants falling over but the corn when it's been able to get matured and pro and you know proper with enough kernels enough water in it boy it tastes delicious alright so this is uh, this is my quick tour of the garden 
and then I'm gonna get a little more specific and we'll leave you with the watering. Goodbye.